Next, let us discuss one more small concept. Advance versus security against consignment. Advance, the consigning often gives an advance to the consigner. Even before he is able to effect the sales, the consigning gives an advance, makes an advance payment to consigner since goods consignment of a certain value has been received by the consignee. What would be the difference between this advance and what is called security against consignment? What is an advance? An advance is paid by the consignee on or before receipt of the consignment. So if 1 lakh goods are sent, maybe 60%, maybe 75% of the value of the goods, either the cost of the goods or the selling price of the goods is given to the consigner as an advance. This advance is adjusted in full when balance remittance is made to the consigner. So what happens? If suppose 1 lakh worth of goods have been sent, and 75% is kept as advance, is sent as advance, it means consignee would have already sent 75,000 rupees. Let us just assume for simplicity's sake that the consignee has no other expense, there is no commission, nothing, and the consignee makes a total sales of 1,25,000. In this case, now only the balance 50,000 is to be remitted. I am assuming that the entire stock has not been sold, only maybe 90% of the stock has been sold. So there is 10% stock still with the consignee, but the consignee has now sent 50,000 and settled the account up to date. Closing consignment stock is with the consignee, but no advance. What happens as a result of this situation, there is 10% stock with consigning and, and the consigner does not have any advance or any security against this 10% stock which is lying with the consigning. So in case of an advance, when goods are received or before goods are received by the consignee, an advance is paid to the consigner even before the consignee effects sales and collects the sales proceeds for the consigner. Usually when it is advanced, when balance is remitted for 80%, 75% or 90% of the sales done, the entire balance is adjusted and only the, only the remaining amount needs to be paid by the consignee to the consigner. As a result, there may be some stock lying with the consignee, but there is no advance against this stock now with the consigner. Therefore, there is no security against the consignment stock. The entire net balance has been settled. Now the consignee holds, let's say 10% of the original goods sent on consignment. So there is a consignment stock with the consignee but no advance with the consigner since balances have been settled. Let us just consider an example. X of Kolkata sends out goods costing 3 lakh to Y of Delhi. Goods are to be sold at cost plus 33 one third percent. The consigner asks the consignee to pay an advance for an amount equal to 60% of sales value. What is the amount of advance? This is question 1. Assuming that 80% of the goods are sold at the indicated price, how much would be remitted to X by Y? So first in goods, the cost of the goods, cost of goods is 3 lakh. But goods are sold at cost plus 33%. So the profit is plus one third. One third of three lakh is one lakh. So this is the sale value of the goods. 
the consigner asks the consignee to pay an advance equal to 60% of sales value. So what is the advance? It is 60% of 4 lakh. That is 2 lakh 40,000. What is the amount of advance? Amount of advance is 2 lakh 40,000. Assuming that 80% of the goods are sold, how much is remitted? So what is the sales now? Actual sales effected would be 80% of 4 lakh that is equal to 3 lakh 20,000. Since 3 lakh 20,000 is the sale, this belongs to the consigner. This needs to be remitted to the consigner. However, the consignee has already remitted 2,40,000 and therefore a balance of 80,000 only would be remitted to X by Y. So the amount of advance was 2,40,000 and the balance after the sale of 80%, the balance which would be remitted would be 80,000. What is the implication of this? The implication of this is that Consignment stock of sale value of sale value of eighty thousand is with the consigner is with the consigner. But sorry, sorry, eighty thousand of the stock is with the consignee is with the consignee. But the consigner, but the consigner does not have any advance or any security against this stock which is held by the consign. That is only an advance payment and when proceeds of sale are sent to the consigner, the consignee adjusts the advance payment and pays only the balance amount.